Well, it's finally happened. I found a new species that's been officially named and the paper's been released in the last few days and now I can share it with everyone. And the cool thing is you saw that fossil being found on this YouTube channel five years ago. Let's take a look at it. I haven't been finding much, uh, mainly because this is a new area. I've never been here. Stumbled across this. Look at that. I think... This could be petrified wood. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's bone. That's bone sticking out there. This is a fossil. I think. But what kind? Oh, my word. I think I'm looking at part of a skull. I think this could be a dolphin or whale skull. <laughs> that is good. This is really good. This is really a good find. Have a look there. there that's definite bone there. And there's some more bone going in there. This is the right look for a skull. And this could be the ear bone. This could be the bulla over here. <laughs> this is so unexpected. I didn't think I was going to find anything this good. I wonder if that's what it is. This is so awesome. I'm not even really fossil hunting. I'm just having a look around. We're on our way to Meraki boulders, so I thought I'd stop and have a quick look. I found this. But it didn't stop there with that first skull. So the first skull was really complete. It had most of the skull there. Um, it had the eye bone on the one side. It was missing the top part of the skull and the eye on the other side. So I went back to that beach two years later, almost to the day, and 250 meters, that's like over, what, 700 feet uh, away from where I found the first one, I found the other part of the skull. Have a look. I'm back where I found that first bone fragment, that first bone cluster. Um, about two hours ago I found there and I'm on my way back now and I found another bone cluster at the back there. Let's go have a look. Let me know if you can see it. Hopefully it's from the same animal as the first one. That'd be awesome. It's that rock in the middle of the screen over there. You can just see a bit of bone sticking out there at the top. That's looking good. That's looking nice and complex. Yeah, it's definitely bone though. 48 million year old bone, that's always a great find. I was so happy to have found another cool piece of potential skull from the same beach. It was only when I got back home and I started looking at the first skull and the second skull and trying to make them fit that I saw something really, really cool. This is that billfish skull from the same formation. You can see there's the eye over there. It's missing the top section over there. And here's the one I found now, two years later. And it's got the top section of an eye. And it's the top part of a skull. So what we've got here, this is the top of the skull over here. There's an eye over here, the missing I would have been around about there and then this section kind of lines up over there and this eye or this little bit of remaining eye is kind of where it would have been. 
The incredible thing is that's not the first bullfish skull from that beach. Roughly 40 years ago, someone else found an amazing, a really, really cool skull there um, from a bullfish. And this is the first book I ever had in New Zealand about fossils. It's a, it's a tiny little book uh, telling about the fossils from New Zealand. I bought it from Scorpio Books in Christchurch. And on the back there, that's the skull from that beach over there. And I used to look at this skull and it was just such a weird, a weird fossil. I mean, it's got a really big eye right in the middle there. So, you know, it had a bit of personality. And this skull is now part of the same paper that my skull was published in, in, in which it was named. So about two years after I found that second part of the skull, Dr. Seaborn Russ got in touch with me. He'd seen the video and he knew about the other skull that had been found um, 40 years previously at the same beach. And he'd also done some work on New Zealand bullfish and he was keen to study this one further and maybe write it up in a paper. I was stoked. I was really, really glad uh, that someone was interested in this fossil and wanted to write it up. Because after you find a fossil, you have to find someone that's interested in this fossil that will write it up. So Seaborn Rust, along with two other researchers, Rodrigo Otero and Mariana Terrazal, got together and wrote up a scientific paper describing this fossil I found as a new species, Zelandorhynchus fordycii. Zealand, obviously referring to Zealandia, the continent on which New Zealand uh, sits, and Rhynchus, referring to Bill, and Fordycei, named after the legendary uh, fossil researcher, Professor Ewan Fordyce from Otago University that passed away recently. Ewan Fordyce was known for the amazing work he did on fossils all across New Zealand, especially in that Otago area. Well, here it is. This is the paper that it resulted in. There's so much work in here, you should go have a look at it. There's pages and pages of information on the fossil, comparing it with other bullfish on the locality. There's just so much good stuff in here. <laughs> uh, when I started our fossil hunting and I found a crab or two, I never thought it would result in a new species. Uh, it's been quite the ride. And thanks so much everyone for coming along on it. You saw this fossil being found within a few days of when I found it and you saw the second part, you've been along on every part of this journey. So thanks so much for that. And who knows, maybe there's a few more new species in the future. <laughs> Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt.